Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much for clicking on this video and watching it. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment down below. That way we can have some conversations. Hit that like button, share my video, do the things because that lets YouTube know that you are enjoying my content and they help push me out to help my channel grow. So today for you guys, I have a collective haul. And in that haul, I went shopping at Five Below, Target, and Walmart. So I picked some stuff up from each of those stores. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let's just get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you Five Below. There's only, I think, three items in here. And so I needed to do a gift for some kiddos. And I got this. It's for my best friend, Dylan. My best friend's son, Dylan, um, he loves all things car related and I thought this was really cute because it comes with a recycle chuck. That one says reduce, this orange one. So I guess a reduce, oh, recycle, reduce, reuse, and city sanitation is what they all say. So either way, it's just cute. It's like pushing that reduce, reuse, recycle, friction powered vehicles. So it's the clean city crew. So super cute. I thought that he would enjoy that because again, he loves all things cars and vehicles. And then for her daughter, I picked her up this and it is a friendship word wear kit. And it says it comes with over 2,500 beads plus a bead tray. So a bunch of letters and stuff so she can make bracelets. And she is a very, very crafty little girl. Hi Layla, if you're watching, I love you. And um, this is one of your Christmas gifts. I know we're a little late, but hey, that's just life. So um, I focused on Jen's gift. She's my best friend. She's the one getting all the Schitt's Creek and Friends stuff. And I was like, oh shoot, I need to get the kids done too. So I grabbed this little kit for her so she can make some bracelets and stuff. I think she'll absolutely love that. And then for my home, oh, there's four things. For my home gym, I picked this up. I thought $5 was a killer deal for this little three-tier dumbbell rack. So I just have some really lightweight weights because I don't do anything extremely heavy, but I thought that this was a nice way to let them all sit in one spot. And I mean, I know it's going to be plastic, so it's not going to be as nice as, you know, the heavy-duty um, metal ones. I was going to show you, but that won't undo. But I thought how cute and like just neat that that'll be in my gym. And the price was absolutely perfect. And then lastly, uh, my husband was with me and um, Eric, he's going to be turning eight in May, the end of May. And so we start, you know, looking for gifts and stuff if we find anything that just seems fitting. And I know this is rated teen, probably for some violence, but he is absolutely obsessed with World War II. And so this just seems like it'll be right up his alley. It's World of Warships Legends. And we have the Xbox One, I guess. That's what my husband said. Um, I know we have a Nintendo Switch. It's the other one. It's apparently an Xbox One. And so for $5, it is literally about like warships. And the kid can tell you the difference between all the different warships. He could tell you the difference between all the different tanks and all the things. So he should probably love that. And then, of course, I've been to Target. So this is from a few different runs because I am not having any luck in the Bullseyes Playground trying to find the things that I'm looking for. Like I want the heart-shaped tear tray that's in a light pink. I have a white one that is pretty much exactly the same. It's not shaped like a heart, but it's like the same tear tray, I assume. So, I mean, I'm fine without it. I am. I'm okay. I'm fine without it. But I keep looking for it just to see if I can find it. But with all those runs to Target, I look around. So I can't find my tablecloth from last year. I always buy these vinyl ones. Is that what they're called? Easy Care Tablecloth Wipe Clean. I mean, I feel like you can get multiple uses out of them. They're not like so much. They're polyester, 100% polyester. Um, like they're not totally throwaway. Oh, that's the back. It's Piva. Piva? But um, my kids also tend to like use their nails and scratch them and stuff. So I assume I probably threw away the one from last year because it was probably like scratched up and stuff. It was adorable. It was hearts. Like I loved it. And 
I wanted to find it, but I can't. So I picked up a new tablecloth. I don't love this one. It doesn't scream Valentine's Day to me. It screams like little girl's room because it's got like hearts and rainbows and confetti on it, but it was the only one they had. So I do plan before putting this out to see if I could find one that's a little bit more Valentine's Day, but if I don't, I'll use this. But I mean, it's cute, but it's not it's not what I was looking for, but you know, beggars can't be choosers or beggars can't be picky. I don't know, whatever the saying is, because that's what I found. Now my husband found this, there is literally only one and it says it's candy hearts. With the candy heart shortage that is going around, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fill this with candy hearts. We don't eat them, no one in my house likes them. I don't even think the kids like them. But um, this is adorable. So I might try the trick where I put like a big cup in the middle and then wrap you know, candy around it because I did find two bags of candy hearts and I haven't put them out anywhere yet. And so I might try that to see if that suffices in here because I don't know if I'll be able to find more because there's apparently a candy heart shortage this year, which is super weird. But the jar in itself is adorable. And I could put anything else in it too, but I mean, it says candy hearts. That's what should go in there. And so my husband found that for me. He's like, you, you like this? I'm like, of course I do, hello. And he also found this and picked out the scent. So these are cute little candles in the Bullseyes Playground. This one, it just smells good. And it says it's freesia and lily, but it doesn't have a floral scent because I'm not a big floral scent person. I mean, maybe slightly, but it's got like a sweet floral scent. So this was $3. It says lead free wick, three ounce scented candle. And honestly, I don't know if we'll actually burn it or not. Cause I'm real terrible about burning candles, but the look of it is really cute and it'll be really cute just sitting out. Um, I'll be honest, I have not fully finished decorating for Valentine's Day yet. I started, but it's not done. I picked these up. I thought these were adorable. It's the sweet shop, the little gumball machine, and the Ferris wheel with little hearts. And all of them are dry erase finish, so you can write on them with the dry erase marker if you want to, but I just thought they were really cute. And they might either go on my coffee bar, my table, or, I mean, I honestly don't know. They can go anywhere because they're so cute. So I picked those up. I picked up this cake stand. I can't find the tear tray, but I found the cake stand. So this will make me happy and it'll suffice. And so I'll probably put this over in the coffee bar area and just set some stuff on top of it and then use my white tear tray and it'll be perfectly fine. And my goal is to have that done by tomorrow. Once my house is fully decorated for Valentine's Day, do you want a home tour for Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments down below because if you want one, I will show you for sure. But I thought that this was adorable. And they had a white one too that was just flat. It didn't have like the, the down part like this and it had heart cutouts around the sides. And I almost wanted both, but I told myself, Amber, you only need one because that's all you have room for. Um, also in the area, they have the cutest little best friend socks that you like give and share, right? So I picked these up and it says better together and it's bacon and eggs. So my best friend, Jennifer, I'm working on her Christmas slash birthday gift. I haven't given it to her yet. It's like full of like awesome Schitt's Creek and the show Friends stuff because those are her two favorites. And I'm going to add in this. She loves bacon. I don't, but she does. And I love eggs. And so I thought, how cute are these? Because, you know, they're both the things we love. And then they're like little best friend socks. So I'm going to do this share bestie socks with my bestie because I just thought they were too cute. And then lastly, from, I am so sorry. Guys. Lastly, from Target. So for the kids, I'm doing a little DIY gift for them. They love cereal. And in my next Dollar Tree haul, because I have it, but I need to haul it. My next Dollar Tree haul, you'll see the cereal that I'm putting in these. But I picked up three of these cereal bowls. Here they all are. They're all in the same color. I thought these ones were just the perfect canvas. And what I'm going to do on them, I and I, this isn't my idea. I saw it on Facebook. Some lady was trying to sell them for like $10 or $15 each. And I'm like, oh, I can make those. She did I seriously love you on them, but it's I seriously, C-E-R, cereal, C-E-R-E-A-L, dash, cereal, seriously, S-L-Y maybe, cereal-less, cereal, I don't know. 
anyway, I seriously love you, but use the word cereal with it. And so I'm like, oh, you could do so many play on words like um, you're seriously amazing or all the things. So I'm going to do one for each of the kids and then do their name on the other side. And then they each have their own cereal bowls. And then I'm going to put in Fruity Pebbles. What did I pick up? Fruity Pebbles and maybe Cinnamon Toast Crunch or maybe just Fruity Pebbles. No, it was cereal. Lucky Charms, because they like Lucky Charms, and they're in red, so they're Valentine's Day colors. So those are some of the little handmade gifts I'm going to do for them. So you'll see the cereal in my next Dollar Tree haul, because I picked up just the single bags of them to add into there, so they each have their own bags of cereal. So that's everything I picked up at Target. Now at Walmart, I went to their clearance section. I, I don't know if everyone's stores, but they have like aisles of clearance, and some stores are just way better than others because there's some of their clearance sections I go to and they're terrible and I never see anything. And then somewhere I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. And so I went to their clearance section, and first off, I found this it's a Hanukkah banner. And it was 50 cents on clearance. It says regular price was $4.97. Now, if you were watching around my time of the holidays, we are not Jewish. However, my husband is very interested in Judaism. And so we've done a lot of just like learning about Hanukkah and some of their traditions and stuff. And so my husband bought a bunch of decor and um, stuff for Hanukkah. And so, you know, what better way to teach the kids about other traditions and, you know, kind of immerse yourself, I guess. And so I grabbed this banner so we could put it up next year for Hanukkah and then keep teaching the kids more and more about other people's beliefs. Um, in their clearance section as well, sorry, it's all mixed in, so I want to just pull the clearance stuff first. I should have done this before, guys, but I didn't. All right, I found a bunch of ribbons. I think this is all of these ones. They are like sweets themed ribbons and they were all a dollar originally $3.97 it's by Gwen Studios but they're all kind of similar but slightly different so this one looks like it has little macaroons like a brown is that well it's not it shows brown there it's not it's like um kind of a light gold silvery sparkle with the sprinkles and then that one is like a, t a mint that says celebrate and then just a teal ribbon on that set and it says that's six feet each of ribbons. This one was also $3.97. It's the sweet shop. And you get the donuts, the polka dots, the blue, and the stars. So I thought that one was really cute. That's really cute for like 4th of July time, which is, you know, around the corner. Also in that same color scheme, there is the cupcakes, the stripes, the silver, and like the light blue. And that one was a dollar. They all say that they're six feet worth of ribbon. Then there was this one. So it's got the donuts and then kind of like the, I don't know, the polka dots. I guess that's kind of sprinkles too. The mint color and the little stars. Another one with macaroons, but in a different color scheme. And then the sprinkle one is kind of that mint color. And it says celebrate and yay on that kind of coral color ribbon and then the pink one and then lastly it's another donut set but in a different color scheme so it's got the blue ribbon with the donuts this one is more of a real light i think it's really light mint but i don't know if the lighting's making it look that way if it's white and then like the more kind of t in between the teal and mint and the purple stars how cute are those for a dollar each for six feet of ribbon? So I thought they would be really cute to like wrap around gifts or um, do stuff for the kids, make bows for Lorelai maybe. I just thought they were really, really cute. Also in that section, I found these animal print ribbon. So they're both kind of cheetah. One's thin and one's thicker. This one was $1.20 for the thin one. And it's also by Gwen Studios. You get nine feet of ribbon on that one for that $1.20. It says originally $1.97. Not a killer deal, but why not? This one says it was $1.20, but now it's 65 cents. And you also get, no, this one you get six feet of ribbon, but it's the thicker one. So I grabbed those. I'm going to toss those into some happy mail because there's people who I think would like it. And then sticking in that section, I picked up this Harry Potter 
piece of fabric. I have a plan for a DIY to make for Braxton. I'm going to get one of the Dollar Tree banks and redo it. I did see it on Cozy Morgan's channel. She did one with a doll, like did a Dollar Tree bank and turned it into Harry Potter. And so I'm taking that idea but making it a little bit different and I'm going to use this as the background, get the words off of it and say saving for Hogwarts because Cozy Morgan, a great idea, and I'm like, oh, I should do that for Braxton. And then I might do one for Eric that says, like, saving for a tank, because he's all into, like, tanks right now. And then um, Lorelei's easy. It's, like, rainbows or unicorns or really anything girly, let's be honest. I got this because I have some wrapping I want to do, and I needed some pink ribbon for it. So I just grabbed that so I could tie it around some packages. Um, in the craft section Still, I picked up some paints. These are both going to work for East or Valentine's Day first and then for Easter because it's all in the right color scheme. So first of all, these work perfect for Valentine's Day and just to have on hand, they're the Apple Barrel paints and I got Fuchsia and Red Apple for a red and a pink, which is very Valentine's day -y. And then these can work for Valentine's Day or for Easter. So I got Cameo Pink, which was very, like, ballerina pink-ish. I got Pale Daffodil, which is a pretty yellow. I got Cloudless, which is kind of like a mint color. And Lavender Sachet, like a lavender color. Um, I got the bears. They're on my Dollar Tree haul that you've seen previous to this. They, I want to paint them like gummy bears. And I was thinking pastel colors, but now I might, I don't know what colors I want to paint them. I haven't decided that. So I'm going to look up like other people's gummy bear crafts and kind of see the color scheme they went to and if it looks like gummy bears. Um, Valentine's Day section, of course, I went to that. And I found this little tag. It says, you and me. And it's that really light pink color and with the little hearts. This was 98 cents. And I thought it was really cute for a tear tray. And then I got this, which I think is beautiful. This one was $1.98. And it's just got the beaded garland. And it says love right there on the end. And it's just a little bit bigger than the Dollar Tree beaded garlands that they've been putting out with the hearts. Like more beads on it. But I thought it was really cute. And like to go around like a candle and like kind of hang I thought would be really cute. And I like the tassel on it and stuff. So for $1.98, I picked it up. Thought it was adorable. Um, in the makeup section, I finally found my color of makeup. My makeup's been a little bit too dark. It's This was one shade less, this one, and this is what I need. So hopefully now this will match better. At least on camera, you can't tell that it's too dark. It works. But I've been needing that, and I can't find it. Like I go to Target much more often than I go to Walmart but Target doesn't carry it anymore. And I needed some more face wash. They didn't have the name brand, but they had the Walmart brand and it's even a couple dollars less, so why not? And all right, in the Valentine's Day section again, I picked these up to put in the kids' little goodie bags for their classmates. I thought it was something different. I usually do like pencils and erasers and stuff, and I'm trying to do it a little bit different. So I did these little spiky balls is what they're calling them and you got 24 for two dollars which is right in line on the dollar tree price that i pay for stuff i usually get 12. i try to look for the things that are like 12 items for a dollar so that fits right in that price range so i got those for the kids things for their friends and the clearance section again i found these so these are the nutcracker books Normal price was $4.98. They were $0.45, cents, guys, like $0.45. Cents. So I was thinking for gifts for next year. My husband is obsessed with nutcrackers before. Like this whole spot up here was just filled up here, up there, was filled with nutcrackers. Like that's one of his favorite things. So I thought next year, like for gifts, if we could find good priced nutcrackers, which usually at like Hobby Lobby when they're 50% off, they're not terrible. Give a nutcracker, give this book and like do like a treat of like moose munch or you know some sort of like sweet treat and what a neat little gift to give to people and these are 45 cents so I picked up the two that were left there's only two I would have grabbed more to do more gifts like that but even at the five dollar price point like that wouldn't be terrible but the 45 cent price tag was amazing so I grabbed those to give next year for gifts and lastly I have mentioned 
my best friend's gift a couple times. I just keep buying more and more and more and adding to it. And I found these. They were $4.98. It says it's a journal. It's 96 sheets. This one is the Friends one. Life is better with friends. It's got the cute little cartoon friends on it. Let's open it up and see what they look like on the inside. Oh my gosh, these are so much cuter even. All right, so it's like not paper. It's kind of that plasticky thing. And when you open it, it says, you're so great, love you. And these were in the Valentine's Day section, so that makes sense why these are kind of Valentine's Day-y. Um, they didn't know that... They didn't know that we know they know we know. Oh, look at the paper, too. It's got a little heart in the corner. And, like, little characters right here in the corner. You're my lobster. Aww. And how you doing? Oh my gosh, those are so cute. It's the same pictures in the corner of all of them. Oh, and it says you're my lobster in the corner of all of them on the other side. Oh, that's so cute. And then I also picked up the Schitt's Creek one, also $4.98. I cannot wait to give her her gifts. I need to get it put together, one, so I stop buying stuff for it, and two, because I can't wait to see her reaction. So this is Love You, Bebe. Let's see, what do we have in this one? Welcome to Rosebud Motel. So I've been watching Schitt's Creek. We are in season five, which means it's getting close to the end, which makes me sad. Bob's Garage. Schitt's Creek. Oh my gosh, cute. We got the Cafe Tropical. Always fresh, always good. And then Rose Apothecary. Locally sourced, handcrafted with care. And then this one has, are they all the same? Yep, so warmest, best wishes, warmest regards, Rosebud Motel on the bottom, and no vacancies, Rosebud in the corner of that paper. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So these you could probably find, they're in the Valentine's Day section at Walmart. So if you're into the Friends or the Schitt's Creek, I honestly couldn't tell you if there was anything else because I was really excited about both of these because they fit the themes. So what I'm doing for her, I'm going to do a Friends themed gift for either her birthday or Christmas and then do the Schitt's Creek themed gift for one or the other. And then um, those are her gifts for her birthday and for Christmas because her birthday was January 3rd. So I'm late for that too, guys, like seriously. But um, I'm glad because I keep finding cool stuff like this. So that's my collective haul. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't um, hit the like button, please consider doing that as well. Leave me a comment down below, share my channel, um, do the things, you know, I appreciate all of you for being here and I can't wait until I see you next time. Bye guys.